Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely wonderful. We're actually starting our day here in Michigan, but ending our day in Salt Lake City, Utah. But first, I'm over here at the Reptarium. Of course, we have a pretty full day before we head to the airport later this afternoon. So I get an opportunity to spend time with my animals like Bella here. You gotta remember, I mean, these animals are such a part of my life. When I do end up going on the road and I'm gonna be gone for a handful of days, look at my girl over here. She's so absolutely incredible. I miss these guys so much, but thankfully the crew is absolutely amazing and they're gonna keep things under wraps here too. So today we have to make sure we get all our work done. Then we actually have a zoo to you birthday party. Uh, and then later on tonight, we're actually open for the Reptarium, but we're not gonna be here. So the crew's gonna have to do that. So let's go ahead and just see what's going on here at the Reptarium over at BHB. And I actually have a few ball python clutches I'm really excited to pull before we leave. I'm glad that some of these laid because I was kind of like, oh, I hope that there's not a ton of stuff that lays when I'm in Utah. This first girl is actually a lemon blast and she might be a vanilla because the father was actually a vanilla. She looks a little light and actually beautiful, but she was bred to a pastel vanilla bamboo. So if she is a vanilla, we might be able to get some super vanillas. We got bamboos, we've got pastels. Of course, we get super pastels. I mean, there's gonna be some really cool stuff in this clutch. Looks like we got one little slugger over here but the rest of the clutch looks absolutely amazing so we're just gonna go ahead get this clutch out of here put it in an egg box over here get these last two eggs mama you did so good sweetheart absolutely incredible we'll get her cleaned up and all settled in get her back onto food ready for breeding here that's just coming up in just a few months we've got two four six seven good eggs one slug again that's gonna be an absolutely ripper clutch and the next ball python clutch we just have to pull this girl down really quick and this is just actually a really pretty normal ball python. It's bred to a pastavi orange dream, which would be a pastel, a mojave, and an orange dream. Looks like she's coiled around a beautiful clutch egg. She's not a big girl at all, but it looks really like a beautiful clutch. Come on, mama, I'm sorry. I know you don't want to give up those eggs. Oh, and you're a little striker too. Whoa, come on, mama. What is going on with her? I know she's just being a good mom and trying to protect her eggs. And I'll be honest with you, there's a lot more eggs than I expected here from such a small girl. That is a really beautiful clutch. I know, Mama. I'm so sorry. You did so good. And again, that's a really cool clutch. You know, people a lot of times think that even breeding normals isn't worth it anymore. But to be honest with you, you can get some really cool stuff. There's going to be pastels. There's going to be mojaves. There's going to be orange dreams and a combination thereof. So this is really cool. Let's go ahead and get Mama back in and we'll count these eggs. All right. Looks like we have two, four, six, eight eggs. I would have never guessed that that little female would lay eight eggs. That's absolutely wonderful. And then the last clutch of the day is actually a spider female. And weirdly enough, she's actually actually bred to that same male as the first one, which is the pastel vanilla bamboo unbelievable and all we have to do is get this girl down just get this girl down and take a look at that whoa she does have a couple sluggers in there she's a really beautiful animal and again that pastel vanilla bamboo oh my gosh this is gonna be amazing okay come on mama do not bite me do not bite me it's okay girl it's all right all in all it's a really beautiful clutch again looks like we have a couple little sluggers here no big deal and look at this this is really cool you see that kind of wiggling around in there that is literally an egg that has just came out and hasn't even started to calcify yet so you can literally see the veins and you can see the actual embryo in there which means that this mama just finished probably within the last like 15 or 20 minutes it's okay mom don't worry about it we're gonna take care of your eggs mama i promise Woo! She's a feisty little monkey. I'll get these couple slugs out of here. Again, we'll get this girl up here, get her all cleaned up, ready to go so she can get back onto food. Looks like we have two, four, six, seven good eggs and a couple slugs. So all in all, it's going well. Again, down to about 15, 17 more clutches for the year for ball pythons. But uh, hey, they have been amazing and it's awesome that now stuff is hatching. Oh my God, I cannot wait till this clutch hatches and all the clutches that were late today because there were some absolutely amazing ones. Hey, Lori. All right, so I want to talk to you about something. What? All right, go ahead. No, what I want to talk to you about is like, we talked about that you don't want any more big snakes. Mm -hmm. But I really want to get a anaconda or a piebald retic. <clears throat> so what do I have to do? So let's make a negotiation here for what I need to get rid of retic wise in order for me to get something like that. Well. I hate these conversations. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Because you put me on a spot and you stick a camera in my face. Well, that's because I want you to be 
accountable that you murder me. <laughs> <laughs> but this, this is also good for me, so you can be accountable when I say no. <laughs> no. No, but you figure if I added one snake and maybe we got rid of a couple of snakes. We already have an anaconda. It is small though. Where are you going to get a big anaconda? I don't know. I don't have any leads on big anacondas yet, but I do want one. And you have a lead on that big pie? No. Retic? No, baby. No. Well, I haven't even talked to Kevin about the babies. Good. Don't. Yeah, because I, I <laughs> wouldn't do that. But I thought maybe you would allow me if, like, let's say, because we've got a few retics that will never go over to the Reptarium, and we don't want to breed them. So we could probably, I'm sure someone, you know, we could rehome two or three of our retics and then replace it with a pied retic that's going to be a beautiful handling. What's going to be cooler of a pied retic than Perdita? It's going to be the same coolness. Well, that's redundant. Why? The but same it's coolness? It's the same coolness, but a different animal. You're so not selling me. handling like, like Perdita, and now they could be handling uh, a pied too. <laughs> You're not selling me on that at all. <laughs> what do I have to do to sell you on this? What do I have to say? No, again, this is not the retic area. Why do you want so many retics? Because big snakes and big lizards are what people go, oh my gosh. <clears throat> so is this a hard no? <laughs> I swear to God, I've never had so much problem with the, my kids as I do with you. <laughs> yeah, it's a hard no. Really? Can I send you some pictures? Because I think no. you really like them. Oh, I can bet you a million dollars that the picture is not going to sway me. <laughs> well, then I guess we're going to keep all our retics then. You weren't getting rid of them anyways. I will. I will because I want one bad. Okay. This didn't go the way I wanted to. I'll come talk to you about it again tomorrow. Another clutch hatched out that was in the Reptile Live Cam, and I cut these a while ago. It was a pastel bred to a pastel kingspin. So uh, a bunch of really cool babies that actually hatched out. I'm gonna just dive right into these guys and take a look at them. This is absolutely incredible. The kingspin is actually a het russo animal, not actually a lesser. So theoretically, a pastel kingspin is the wrong thing. But regardless, this is actually a little spider het russo animal here. Really kind of cool how it changes the pattern from say a spider lesser, or what they would call a lesser, be. We have a little pastel pinstripe here, which would of course be called a lemon blast. Really beautiful little animal. This looks like it was just a bumblebee. When it was in the egg, I thought that there was a chance it was a hat russo as well, but it looks like it's just a pastel spider. Really nice. And remember, there's pastel on both sides, the pastel female and the pastel kingspin. So this is a super pastel right here, which is just the double of the pastel gene. Now we get into some really beautiful animals right here. This looks like this is actually a killer bee, which is a super pastel spider and also a Hat Russo. So this one is unbelievably gorgeous. This is another one that looks to me like it is probably a spider Hat Russo. Although it's not quite as interesting as this one is, I think it's the same genetics. Again, I've talked about the fact that there's polymorphism within the same snake. You can get three are the same type of genetic shape and they can all look a little bit different. We also have this little monkey here, which is really interesting because it hatched and then it crawled back into the egg. And this is another one that is a bumblebee pastel spider and a Hat Russo. Whew. That one is unbelievably good. And this is the one that I'm pretty sure is a yellow belly is too. So I think the pastel kingspin actually has yellow belly in it. Seeing a little bit of yellow belly throughout here. And then this is the all gene animal right here. This is a super pastel. This is a spider. This is a pinstripe and it is a het russo. So it's all the genes mixed together. And wow, that did not disappoint guys. I mean, oh my gosh. That is one pretty snake right there. So uh, that is what hatched out of this clutch. And again, keep your eyes on the reptile live cam and you can watch clutches like this hatch 24 seven. Okay, so we gotta pack up and get ready for this zoo to you birthday party. Uh, again, it's a busy day. Most people probably when they're traveling across country don't pack their day, but we have a lot going on. So we're gonna go do that, get back here, wrap up things here, and then eventually get out to the airport. Okay, so we're at our zoo to you birthday party and it's your birthday and who else's birthday? My sister. Your sister, but you said, where's your sister? Upstairs. 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 Okay. Oh, right, no. We're Come gonna have a great time, alright? You ready? Yeah. Just 
were happening up here at the birthday party. Uh, I tell you, I love these. these are, no matter what kind of mood you're in, you get around one of these birthday parties, you better be happy because it is just the most amazing thing. We got to pack up here in a second, get back to the Reptarium, do our last things over there, and then uh, hit the airport and head to Salt Lake City. And of course, we are leaving for Utah, but uh, the crew is still <laughs> doing their best to get the place spruced up because we're going to be taking over at the Reptarium tonight when we're open. Uh, I have a great crew, so I'm sure that the handful of days that I'm gone, they're going to do a really good job. But they have to go through, do all their maintenance, and get ready for the crowds that are coming tonight. And it's that time. We're going to go ahead and pack up out of here, get over to the airport, and get on a plane. Uh, you guys know that I don't like planes, but regardless, hopefully it'll be a nice, smooth flight. Uh, let's head to the airport. <laughs> we are on our way to the airport. You guys excited? Oh, super hyped. All right, good. I'm uh, excited once we get there. I don't, I'm not excited about getting on a plane. You'll be okay. I'll be okay. I've done this before. And Lori's with me, so I should be all right, right? You'll be fine. Just exactly. drive. All right, so we're off to the airport. Bye, bye. Oh, it's good to get off the plane. It's hot. I love it. I'm absolutely so stoked to be yeah, in Utah. Are you guys doing? I'm so excited. It's hot. I can't wait. <laughs> it's hot as fast. I love it. This is going to be a great few days, guys. There's always that anxiety when you see like all of the luggage coming out and it's kind of stopped, but your luggage hasn't got here. So, uh, <laughs> so hopefully uh, they'll be unloading some more because ours hasn't made it. Found our bag. Now we just gotta find the rental car place. I tell you what, we have been in Utah for all of about 20 minutes. I already am in love with this place. Yeah, me the, too. The mountains are ridiculous here. The sights, unbelievable. This is, I don't think I'm gonna wanna go home. This is amazing. Oh gosh, it's gonna be a great trip. All right, guys, we made it to our hotel room. We're gonna definitely get some shut eye because it is getting late here. We've got a few days of amazing adventure ahead of us, so it's gonna be absolutely incredible. Tomorrow we're at Sea Life, gonna be doing a bunch of really cool stuff. We are definitely visiting Jeremy Stone, the Snake Keepers, a bunch of stuff on this trip. It's gonna be absolutely incredible, but as for now, you have an amazing day. I hope that you enjoyed this vlog today, and I hope that you'll enjoy the next few days. Be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow.